These are my journals and I'm going to be sharing with you why journaling matters in motherhood and how you can use it to make yourself feel empowered. Hey beautiful mamas, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina from Conscious Parenting with Christina and yeah let's talk about journaling. So for me journaling has been the ultimate tool for personal growth, self-development, healing. It's been extremely powerful for me and I've always kept journals. I've had journals probably since around the ages of eight to ten years old when my mum first started buying me journals for like birthdays and Christmases and I just used them to like write down people who I had crushes on, people I disliked and just really silly little things. It wasn't until I was around like 16 years old where I started to take journaling very seriously. I would use them to, as a tool to vent and process any big emotions. I would use them to like reflect on my day. I would write in them every day and really just my go-to place to really just let it all out and then I put some heavy negative emotions into my journaling back when I was a teenager as you can imagine and yeah that's just what journaling is it's a place to go to to vent any frustrations reflect on your day help you process emotions get to the source of a problem any patterns limiting beliefs you can really use um, journaling in a very powerful way it can be used in all sorts of ways and it's a place you can go to without judgment and you can vent all your deepest parts of yourselves and there's nobody there to judge you and journaling's really helped me since I went through my spiritual awakening um, because I dove straight into shadow work and I was journaling every single day. I wanted to like get to the root of my traumas, face those deepest shadow parts of myself that I may not necessarily like and I journaled on them. I wanted to get to the source of my problems. I wanted to be healed. I didn't want to be holding on to any like wounds and childhood trauma any longer so it's been a really really powerful tool for me to really let go and heal any of those limiting beliefs and when it comes to motherhood it can be a really powerful tool it will make you feel really empowered because you can become aware of anything that's maybe holding you back from being the best version of yourself for your child you can become aware of any like patterns or family cycles of abuse or parenting styles that you just keep playing out again and again. It's helped you to really reflect on your relationships maybe or your parenting styles. It can really help you to understand why you maybe you get triggered by things that your children do or even your partner and it's really helped me as a mum to really come into presence and really help me to heal those aspects of myself that I don't want uh, my children to pick up on or, or I don't want to pass down onto my children. I want to be able to end these cycles. I want to be the one that really empowers my own children to, the, rather than shaming them and guilt, making them feel guilty. And it can be particularly powerful because it can really help you to become aware of any patterns or any of your own childhood wounds that may trickle down into your parenting. That's quite often reflected back to you by your own children. It really helps you to heal your own inner child wounds. Like I said, you don't want to pass these wounds on to your children and journaling is for me a tool that helps you to come back into your power as a mum. It really helps you to get to those core wounds and even if you're reflecting on your relationships you might realise you don't have enough boundaries and you become aware of like wow well I was 
giving my power away and the stories you might tell yourself unconsciously and the wounds and the traumas and your relationships and everything that goes on in motherhood is often always neglecting yourself and giving your power away to the external, to something else. You're always abandoning yourself or neglecting yourself to please the other because you always want to meet the needs of your child. And I find when journaling, it helps you to heal those and become self-aware about everything that you're giving your power away to because trauma and everything takes your power away. And it's then drawing it all back in. It's bringing all your personal power back in and you feel so empowered once you realize all these things and you realize that you don't have to let all these things um, take your power away. And these are my current journals. I'm just gonna go through each one. These are what I've had over the past year. I've kept journals since I was about eight to 10, like I've said, and I kept them in a box. But then I decided to, I no longer wanted to hold on to all those memories. A lot of it was very, very heavy and negative. And so I did a little ritual and I burnt them all. I sent them back to the universe. I no longer wanted to be in that um, energy of those anymore. So these have just been from the past year and this is my current journal. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a light worker journal and it resonated with me so much. And it's so beautiful that actually the artwork in it is actually incredible. Um, you probably can see some of my writing there. <laughs> um, let's see if I can find another one. So yeah, some of the artwork is just amazing. It was just so beautiful. And this one doesn't have any prompts in it. And this one ha is mainly about for like spiritual growth and healing. It has a lot of like um, healing guidance and rituals you can do, which are really, really um, helpful, which I've done. Um, so I recommend getting something that has like spiritual guidance. So you can see there's some kind of like, um, just helpful thing there, like a little ritual you can do. Um, this one is my shadow work journal. I haven't used this in a long while. Um, this is what I used when I first went through my spiritual awakening. And it was very, very helpful because it's got all these prompts. Not every journal has prompt, uh, prompts in it, um, some do. and But I didn't feel I wanted to, um, continue doing that because the prompts didn't really resonate with me all that much and I felt like you can see like if I find a page that the um, spacing between each line and if you can see is rather big so you don't fit much on there and my hand my handwriting is really big so I felt like I couldn't really stick to just one page and there was only one prompt per page and these are just like simple notebooks two Harry Potter ones I absolutely love Harry Potter it was part of my childhood these are just notebooks that I've wrote in there and for me journaling is not just about venting negative things, the horrible things. It can be about positivity. It can be writing a gratitude journal and setting intentions. For me, I found setting intentions in the morning very powerful. And this one time I woke up in the morning doing my normal um, routine of meditating. And after meditation, I set an intention before I went to college that I would speak my truth, hold my boundaries, because I feel it's very heavy energies when I go into college. And yeah, I went there and I was saying all sorts of stuff to my tutor. We ended up in a bit of a, like a debate that got really, really heavy. And I was thinking to myself, where on earth has this voice come from? This is not usually <laughs> how I am. And I felt really powerful, but also really, well, this is a bit overwhelming. And then I realized that's the power of intentional writing and journaling. Writing in a journal has so much energy and it's very powerful. So I find it a very 
yeah, empowering tool to go to, to help with processing emotions, reflecting if I've had a hard day with my son. And it helps me to really just process and clear and move energies through me and clear what's happened during that day, get let go of that and really move on to something else. And what I like to really just mostly use the most journaling for and what I feel that's really empowering for mums, it can help you to really reflect on your relationships and how you are being as a mum. And I like to journal on like what I love about my child, um, what I love about in my family or what I'd like to change in my family. Is there anything that's within me that's causing any issues in the family life and how I can change the family dynamics? And I find journaling is a great tool to get to the bottom of that or what you'd really like to change or what you want to manifest in your family. It's very, very, um, yeah, powerful. I know I keep saying powerful, but I think it's just powerful. I love journaling so much. And it's a really good um, tool because it helps you to become really present in the moment. You can forget about everything else that goes on around you because you kind of get into the zone. You get into a flow state when it comes to writing in a journal, particularly if it's something deep that you're really wanting to get to the bottom of or just really vent and get it off your chest and you kind of get into the flow and then all of a sudden you're just writing and writing and you don't know where these like thoughts are coming from. So journaling has always been my go-to tool to vent and really reflect on my parenting like I always want to improve myself maybe I'm a bit too hard on myself sometimes so I want to always do my best so I'm journaling quite often I don't always journal like I'm no saint when it comes to journaling even though I recommend journaling every day I feel sometimes it's not necessary uh, but then when I haven't journaled in a while. I notice I'm kind of feel like I'm bypassing a lot of things or I'm getting worked up with my child maybe easily and I'm like, right, I need to um, journal. And when I do, it, it feels so healing. And if you would like any further help with feeling empowered as a mum and really coming back into that power, being the best version of yourself for your children, for your partner, just the family life in general. Um, you can download my sleep hypnosis meditation and I'm giving that to you absolutely free. And all you've got to do is click the link in the description box below or in the comments and you can sign up and that gets sent to you straight away and you can start using it immediately, even though it's uh, better to use um, at night when you're asleep. You can just start listening to it throughout the day if you want to. And this has helped me to really improve the way I feel about myself and show up as a mum. So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. And with that being said, keep parenting from the heart and I will see you on the next video. Much love.